Hey everyone, thanks for checking out our video on working with cloud integrators. My name is Matt and I'm the Client Service Director at Waypoint Australia. I also look after business development, which basically means I just look after uh, software and accounting and bookkeeping partners, as well as new clients that come our way. And my entire responsibility is to ensure that they get a great experience when they work with us. In this video, I'm going to speak about a moment that can come sometimes with every client, sometimes with just a select few, where they have a particular problem in the business and you know that it can be solved with a piece of technology or new business processes, but you also get that feeling in the pit of your stomach and you think, this is outside of my wheelhouse. As a Zero partner, you have access to a network of uh, software consultants as well as business consultants called Cloud Integrators. This particular program that Zero have put together has over 240 partners across Australia and New Zealand. Now that's a lot. And what we've heard from working with quite a few accounting and bookkeeping partners in the past is that sometimes trying to find the right cloud integrator for your client can feel like putting on a blindfold, spinning around and playing a game of darts. It's pretty ineffective. Eventually you'll get a bullseye, but we wanna try and speed that up. So when that moment comes and you think, I need to refer this client to someone that has a specialization. What we want to do is we want to try and refine this list of 240 down for you. And a really quick way to do that is to look at the preferred integrator program. Waypoint is a member of that program, but there's another seven of us. Each of us have very particular specializations. And one of the objections that can come from a client when they get introduced to a cloud integrator is that they don't know us. And the client is gonna be unsure of whether or not that cloud integrator can deliver what they say they can. This is a really good place to start because it means that Zero have done that checking for you. There is a verifiable history of great implementation work being done by these integrators, us included. And that means that you can recommend one of us eight with absolute confidence and know that we will be able to do what we say that we can do. So once you've found the integrators that you want to speak to, and I would recommend speaking to more than one of us, what happens then? Well, what I'm going to say might actually feel a little bit counterintuitive, but this first point is really important and it comes up quite often when we are speaking to clients that are referred into us from outside organizations. And that is at your side, I'd like like you to try and avoid suggesting a potential software solution. If something is outside of your wheelhouse, even though you want to be helpful, it may actually be counterproductive to start giving software solutions as potential candidates to fix this client's problem. By doing that, what can inadvertently happen is the client can start going off and doing their own research. They may see a piece of software that has something quite fancy or shiny on the outside that looks really great and is marketed quite well, and they could start selling themselves on the software. Then in speaking to the cloud integrator, we could find that that particular candidate app has not got some very crucial capabilities that the client needs. What that means is that both yourselves and us will then need to undo that pre-selling work that the client has taken on themselves. What's really good to have before you refer the client to a potential cloud integrator is to have an overview scope. So bullet points about what the business does, how they do it, and where they're coming unstuck. Have it documented and ready to send, but then don't send it. Instead, pick up the phone. When we've looked at our database of all of the leads and opportunities that come to us from other partners outside of our organization, the overwhelming majority of the ones that go exceptionally well have started with phone calls. And so with that in mind, we always recommend that you pick up the phone first and start with a really human interaction. During that phone call, obviously you want to look at what that integrator specializes in. You also want to be talking to us not just about our capabilities, but assessing the integrator as 
a culture fit for your client. Think of it this way. If you are hiring for your own organization, you wouldn't want to bring someone in that just didn't quite do things the way that was expected. The same should be true if you're looking for an outside party to work with one of your clients. Once all of that's taken care of, refer the client in. In this early stage of the engagement, be prepared to stay with the client for as long as it takes to have them feel comfortable. Something that doesn't go well is when you just handball a client over, hope that the integrator is going to do everything effectively, and then pass it back to you. Stay on those calls, be involved as often as appropriate, and make sure that your client feels really comfortable with not just the process, but that the integrator is the right fit for them before you leave the conversations. Once the process has been made really clear by the integrator and once everyone involved is understanding of what's going to be expected of them, stick to that process. On the flip side of that, you should be able to expect the same of them. So if they outline a process, make sure that not only are you being expected to stick to it, but that they are sticking to it. And with that said, know where your touch points are and ensure that you're available for it. This is a really important one, and I'm actually going to bring the last bullet point into this. Make sure that the integrator has a clear and direct line of communication with the client. Projects work best when all cards are put on the table. There's no such thing as too much information. And we want to make sure that us as integrators can speak direct to the client and that we're not having to pass all of our communication through yourself because obviously things can get lost in translation. Communication is everything. So with that in mind, I want to thank you for listening to me talk about how to work with cloud integrators today. If you have any questions, we are more than happy to take a phone call at any time. You can find all of our information at our website, wearewaypoint.com. We've also provided some links in the description of this video below so that you can find the cloud integrator network on the Zero Partner Directory.